What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called File Expert with Clouds. Um, I've seen another review of this, actually, where the guy sort of slipped that in at the end because, um, well, it is sort of an afterthought, isn't it? But anyway, this is called File Expert with Clouds. Um, and we'll talk more about the Clouds thing in just a second, but as you can guess from the title, this is a file perusing application, that is to say it's a file browser for your Android. Um, there are two different versions. There's the File Expert HD, also with Clouds, and then there's also the um, the File Expert that we're looking at here. That's just the standard edition. Um, not sure why the split is there, but then again, doesn't really bother us. Um, that's sort of a standard thing for iOS software anyway. So who knows? But we're gonna go ahead and dive into the standard File Clouds, or excuse me, uh, File Expert. Excuse me. There we go. Now we're on the same page. Let's go ahead and get rolling. So, uh, if you can notice from the home screen here, we've got My Files. It's just a basic tab. There are other tabs that are booted up at the moment. And if I want to add yet another tab, simply click this button, and then I have these options to choose from. You can surf the net. There is a built-in browser if you desire that. There's also My Tools, Folders, and My Files. So let's just click Folders, and it'll add yet another Folders tab. tab. I've already got one of those, so I'm going to close it out. You can close any of these out in the same way that you might a, uh, a tab on your Chrome browser. Just click it it'll go away. It's really nice and also you can slide between these uh, a very simple UI feature that we like a lot or UI I guess is how a lot of people pronounce it and um, the, uh, the application will automatically divide all of your different files into these specific categories. So I've got gallery, videos, music, ebooks, etc, etc. Um, it will show me how many things are in those. So for instance I've got six APK files just sitting here all installed, uninstalled, um, etc. This can manage your applications. We've heard that this isn't very successful at times. Um, I cannot personally verify that. Um, it seems to work okay for us, but again, uh, if you're really concerned about it, just use the standard package installer and uninstaller from the Android uh, itself from your stock installation. So uh, let's go ahead and just tap one of these and you can take another a little bit closer look at this. So here are all of my photos. Um, you can see a picture of my cat right there. Um, very simple and then I can just leave that tab there if I desire so let's go ahead and do um, another my files folder and now I've got my gallery still pulled up so if I want to rapidly go to my photos I can do that this is good for uh, photo and video viewing um, if that's what you're into both of those are very accessible in that way and you can leave them and then come back to them one small complaint that we have is that if you add lots of these tabs um, it actually does get pretty cumbersome to flick between them. So I can do this, and this goes a long way towards making this easier. But unlike a browser where we have the full width, um, even uh, going horizontally, there's just uh, not a lot of space to work with, and it can get kind of weird. Um, so perhaps a sliding sidebar might have been better for that. Not sure, don't really have a fix to offer, just know that it's kind of awkward. Um, the eraser that we're talking about is this thing called File Shredder, um, so it's a paid feature as well, but that will nuke your files if you want to try to delete some applications with it. Um, outside of this, there's also a web PC suite that will interact directly with your phone via this application, um, so that's there as well. So it's Quick Connect, uh, a very similar concept that you can send files uh, between different devices. This can send things via Bluetooth, via Wi-Fi, um, I think even NFC is an option. Um, lots of different ways to send files, that's quite handy, especially if you don't have any other tools that uh, are currently doing that. This will also do FTP, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I don't know any other file explorer that does FTP, so well done there, um, file expert. With that in mind, uh, there's also a memory manager tool, all of these of course, um, paid utilities, so you're going to have to spend a little bit of money, but otherwise the application is totally free, and that's quite nice, we appreciate that a lot, and I've just clicked um, the web button, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Never mind, forget I did that. So here's the feature shop. Obviously, if you want to purchase any of these things, um, you can pop in here and then do that. But we're going to skip that for now. Under the settings panel, um, not a lot going on. You can change the theme if you want from light to dark to mixed. Um, a few other things, auto update, root explorer. Um, you can actually look at your root. Though, honestly, even without that uh, enabled, you can see a lot of different things. Um, if you look in my downloads folder, you'll see various zip files and things. I don't think I have anything in here at the moment. Um, but if you have a zip file, it'll see it. Uh, it sees a lot more file types than we would expect, typically, from these kinds of file explorers. So that's nice. Um, 
generally speaking, you don't need the root access, but if you have it and you want to use it, it's there. Uh, outside of this, let's see what else do I have to mention. The user interface, as we've mentioned, we really do like it. Um, we're not as big a fans as the tabs. Once you get lots of tabs going, uh, that does get kind of cumbersome, as we mentioned. Uh, but it's not terrible, and generally speaking, we didn't really mind it so much. Um, the sliding mechanic is really nice, and the, everything else about the design is absolutely pitch perfect, down to these icons. They look really good. Um, and the file clustering itself is also pretty smooth. We didn't have any problems with it, and it seems to be able to figure out what's what very quickly. So nicely done there. There's even a recycling bin, uh, very similar to the um, Windows desktop, so we enjoy that. And finally, let's talk about the clouds. Um, so if you use a cloud service, we use Dropbox a lot, so that's there. There are also a bunch of other cloud services that you can use. Um, SugarSync, Box, OneDrive, etc., etc. I'm not sure if, I guess OneDrive still exists. Anyway, that's all here, and that's where the with clouds part of the name comes from. If you're into this, you can actually sync a lot of your files directly to your favorite cloud service via your Android phone, back and forth, it works really well. We appreciate that. Um, I'm sure a lot of you do too, and that's totally free. So, um, on top of the other file sharing utilities that are included here, as far as the Quick Connects, being able to share things between phones, between other services via FTP, Wi Fi, blah, 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 that's really nice. Um, also, it will look at just about any form of document. So, if you've got text, uh, spreadsheets, etc., all that stuff, it will sort it. It'll be here. That works really well. So at the end of the day, what do we think of File Expert? Well, we happen to think it's probably one of the best, if not the best, file manager um, of this variety for the Android platform. This is not a uh, deep core root explorer. You're not going to be able to do a lot of the extreme filing that you would with perhaps a rooted, um, more developer-focused application. Then again, do we want that? Not necessarily. If you're just looking for a basic file explorer um, that has a little bit more to it, it includes a very beautiful user interface, um, it's complete with all these little sort of tweaks and accessories that we like, like the file clustering, that's really nice. Um, so with all that in mind, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. We really do enjoy it, and we think it's probably the best option for the average user, um, not to mention the fact that it comes with so many different connect options, that's really nice. Um, so with all of that in mind, again, it's a 5 out of 5, and that's all I have to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.